Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to show you how to use my little create material script. And at the beginning, there are a few things you need to um, define. But once everything is set up, it's just one click and you will save a lot of time with it and using it on a daily basis. You have to go to settings and make sure that under plugins, type in script. And go to the built-in plugins. Here's this editor scripting utility and make sure that this here is enabled. The next thing is go to edit and editor preferences and type in blutility. That's the feature we're using and make sure editor utility blueprints is turned on. You may need to restart your editor after it and once everything is done we can start creating awesome materials. So basically you have two different blueprints here. One is for the context menu and the other one is for the batch file. I'm normally using the batch file because I have a lot of textures. So I double click it and for the sake of this tutorial I just downloaded some textures from the internet and normally they are not really good they don't have a good naming convention. Here you can see that um, most of them don't have this T underscore sandstone cliff. Um, my, my script can handle this. If you put in the texture prefix T underscore in here, it will automatically remove it and then only this sandstone cliff would be left. So the script would know all this uh, five textures here are for one material. If I have like 20 different materials here, this would also work. I can show you like I'm going to duplicate it and call it tree albedo and maybe copy the normal map. Um, maybe here and also call it tree normal underscore UE. So one important thing to keep in mind is that you should always save before running the script. You don't want these little marks here. So I'm going to just save this screen. And now I'm good to go. So first of all, I have to tell the script where my textures are. So the source directory is under game instant materials import. The content folder is normally called game. So I'm in the game instant materials import and I want it to look in this not packed folder so I need to write slash not packed I could also say okay I just just look here in the slash game and include all subfolders but for the sake of it this tutorial we just make it step by step in this folder here the target directory is where you want the material to go. So if I want the same folder, I just copy and paste it. And now the script looks in this folder here and also will create the material here in this folder. Here you can define what material prefix you want. Normally it's M underscore for a new material. And the search pattern divider is very important because here you can see, okay, um, in the most cases I'm always using underscores, so I put in underscores, but here the texture from the internet has like this little minus sign in there as a divider. So I delete the underscore and put in this minus sign. And we should be good to go. Um, you should always check here on the patterns that the patterns from the texture, like for example, albedo, roughness, normal, AO, match your naming convention here. So if I open this base color pattern, I can see I have base color and I already put in here this albedo. Same for metallic or roughness or ambient occlusion, normal map. If you need to um, add another one, you can just press this little plus icon here and write in, for example, color. Um, you can put in like 
a lot of base color patterns like 10 or so but the problem is it really needs more time and the, it increases the chance um, for making an error so the best thing would be you have your clean naming convention just put this one naming convention pattern in here and everything runs perfectly and fast if you have like textures from the internet um, it's more convenient to have a lot of different uh, patterns in here so the script needs a little more time but you just have to press one button okay i think we are good to go let's uh, one thing um, i want you to notice is that normally you want textures like roughness and metalness to have this srgb turned off here and uh, use it as a linear color because it's basically a mask same thing for here but my script handles this automatically so you just press this create material like a serve button and now the script makes its magic and it should create two different materials we have our sandstone cliff material and we have our tree material if we open the sandstone cliff material we can see okay we have our base color here t underscore sandstone we have our metallic in here roughness and you can also see they are linear color as they should be this one is a normal color linear linear this one here was recognized as a normal and here we have our ambient occlusion so this material is ready and we can use it the other one we only had like um with the tree we have an albedo and a normal map so if we look in there so next let's look at some pack texture styles i've provided here three different textures it's basically the same i have base color and normal but here is a um, packed texture the kind of you get from using um, substance painter or substance designer and this one here is also a linear color because it's matte i turn it off because the script handles it automatically and i don't have to change a lot of things because this is a normal naming convention with an underscore also i have this base color normal and here's the pattern for the packed pattern occlusion roughness metallic so everything is good to go if you're using uh, the naming convention from substance painter one th uh, thing we need to change is we have this game instant materials import folder and right now we're looking at a game instant materials import packed so i put the name in here packed and copy it here so my material will be created in the same folder and if i press the button the material will be created open it up and we can see okay here i have my base color here I have my pack textures and here automatically the red channel was ambient occlusion here's the roughness and this one goes in metallic and here i have my normal if you have a different split here like um, metal roughness occlusion or something like this you can change this in the settings here under pa pack texture this is the default one but you can just um, modify it the way you need it for your um, project so the next thing we want to have a look at is um, the usage of a master material normally you don't want to have a hundred different materials you want one master material and all your other materials are just material instances of this master material i have provided you with this option and also a simple material it's really basic if you open it up you can see we have like um, basic uv tiling or the option to use the texture or just the base color and what i want a script to do is to create master materials and import the textures in the in the right parameters here for example this one here um, if you get compiling errors 
um, it's because if you have an empty texture sample, I put it in here, you get this uh, compiling error because you need to tell Unreal a texture. And in the master material you don't have this one yet, so I provided you with three different textures. For example, if we delete this and this here, we would need a uh, texture with the sampler type color. I have three placeholders, one color, one linear and one for normal. So if you get this compiling error, just make sure everything is set up correctly in here. So from the metallic, you would need a linear color. So just put this linear color in here, roughness the same. And for normal, you would need, uh, need this normal texture. Okay, so let's open back up our blueprint. And I want to use for this example this not packed textures again. So I'm going to say, okay, my source directory is slash game slash instant materials slash import slash not packed. And this time I'm not using the same directory. Normally I would um, do it like this. I have slash game slash materials and I would never change it because um, all materials will be created in this folder automatically. So I don't have to move them. I just um, run the script and I know everything is in the right folder. So just need to change this one here. Um, we need to remember that we have a different divider here, not an underscore, but a minus. The patterns are already set up correctly here. And if we want to use a material instance here under the tab material instance, just check this box here, use material, I use master material. You need to have the right master material in here. And when you are ready, click create materials. And you see a new folder was created under your content folder. I now have this folder materials and in there is a new MI for material instance. If I open it up, you can see, okay, he has used the master material and he put in all the right textures. For example, the ambient occlusion, the albedo in the base color, metallic, normal and roughness. All our five textures are in here. And since it's a master material, I co can go in here and change, for example, the tiling. Or I can say, hey, um, I don't want to use a texture for the base color. So I just say no texture, but please use this color here. And I can color it the way I want. Or I can even create like a blend beti uh, between those two. So everything you um, can do with a master material, you can do here. So there's just one feature missing here. If we look in our blueprints folder, I told you at the beginning here is one, the one we used uh, all the time for the batch renaming. Um, but there's also this other one with the context menu and Sometimes if you just import materials, you don't always want to type in the path and uh, make all these changes. It may be faster to just use um, the context menu. So here, if I open it up, we have really the complete same basic settings. Um, you can do the very same things with them. So everything we just talked about, you can apply here for the context menu. Please just remember um, those are two different kind of blueprints. So you would need to put in your um, patterns in here. For example, a base color. And if I want to use these not packed textures, I would have to put in albedo in here. Okay. But I'm going to use this packed textures here and they are already in a right naming convention. So everything should work out of the box. You just have, um, you don't have a source directory because you use the files you select in the editor here. But 
you have a target directory right now it's slash game slash materials so everything i create will be um, there will be a material created in the materials folder okay i don't need to change anything in here so i just can close this one and i select the textures i would want to use here right click on them script act actions and say okay create materials like a sir and now the fountain occlusion roughness metallic and under materials here's this material he just created um, one thing you can do here I'm going to delete this one here go back in there um, if you just select like these two textures and not this because you don't want to use this here um, if I run the script now he will only use these two materials so zack. he just has the space color and the normal so please remember to select everything you want to use here you can also use like um, if I duplicate it and say okay this is not tubes this is car do the same here and also for this one here okay now I have like um, two different texture sets in here one for a car and the other one for tubes and also please al um, always remember to save you don't want to have this here so I save and now I don't have to um, select these three and run the script and select these three and run the script um, you can also select just all of them right click and run the script the script will automatically detect the name so you see okay he created two textures if we go into the materials folder we see okay we have our material car and we have our material tubes and everything in here is set up the way we want it to be so it really depends on your preferences what you like more um, I would suggest that if you have like really I had a project um, last month with a thousand textures and all with different naming conventions so it was um, much more convenient to set this one here up once and then run the script but on a daily basis if you have imported the three textures just select them right click and run the material um, uh, here's one thing you also get a warning if you create a material that is already existent so for this tubes material it's already in there so you don't um, accidentally overwrite something okay i know this is a um, at the beginning a lot of uh, changes and things you have to consider but basically if you have a clean naming convention out of the box it works with just one click but out there like if you download textures from the internet and um, work with other colleagues or students or something like this um, you normally don't have a very clean naming convention and then you would go in there and really need to tweak like here are the different patterns or where you want your files to be and to go and how to name them so thank you very much if you have any questions please uh, contact me and i would try my very best to help you out here thank you